Yo, this some more of the mic squads. 3v3s, man. One of my boys lagged out in the middle of the match, so we ended up with two. But y'all finna see the outcome. Let's get to it, man. A rather inauspicious start, but a golden opportunity after the turnover. Does life get any better than this for an offense to start a drive with a first and goal? Quarterback wedging it in there on the quarterback sneak. Quarterback sneak for the touchdown. A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such a great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. And the extra point makes it 7 0. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own ten. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Looking for a productive play on first down. Takes a handoff. It's Singleton. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. He'll do it himself. That's the 45 on his way. Afterburner's coming. He's at the 10. Touchdown. This QB just has such a feel. He's so good with these designed quarterback runs. He's patient. He allows the holes to develop. He puts his foot in the ground. And in the open field, he's as dangerous as any ball carrier in the country. Lining up for the PAT. down the boulevard. Only took two plays to find the end zone on that drive and gashing them on the touchdown run finished it off. And we're all square as he set to kick it away. Caught inside the 20 chance for a good return. Can they catch him? He'll take it to the house. Touchdown Beaver! a field-flipping machine. Take it on one end, return it to the other. And now you get to celebrate. What a beautiful job. We always talk about defense. We always talk about offense. But, man, when your special teams come through for you and score, it is huge, and it provides such a boost for the crowd. They're lining up for the kickoff, and let's see if this return team can answer with a score of its own. Caught inside the 30, and he'll bring it back. They put the brakes on him, but a good return out to the 36. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking for a gap. It's Singleton. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. Bulldozes him. Nothing but green ahead. And it's a touchdown. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. Well, you could draw a line in the middle, and he would have hit that thing. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He's on the loose. And there he goes. They won't get him. It's a touchdown. He is headed to the sideline with a little bounce in his step after scoring on that kick return. And he should have some bounce in his step. How about the effort weaving in and out, covering all that space, great blocking on the play. Well, he does the rest. You don't put guys back deep that can't roll. Could see when he got in the open field, he rolled out. And he 
takes this from inside the five. And the returner is stopped. Kick returners just have to do a better job knowing where they are on the field and what the situation is. That's a ball you got to let go through the end zone. That's a touchback. Instead, you're trying to be the hero, and now you've done yourself more harm than good. The offense starting in terrible field position. From the gun, running back gets the give. It's these little moments like that that can help an offense as he gets it up to the 16-yard line. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Now from their own 20-yard line, it's first and 10. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Anytime you play this offense, the challenge is stopping this quarterback from running the ball. You've already seen in this game, he's been able to break off a few runs and do some nice things. That time, though, the defense had his number and tackled them for a loss. Looking to throw, it's Bradley. Going to try to get it himself. On the move at the 30. And he breaks into the open. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. First down, physicality for the football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. These defenses were reeling in the first quarter. See if they can get their sea legs in the second. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. Looking to buy time. He chucks one out to the right. Fires into traffic, it's picked off. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. The lone back's got it. Gets him away from trouble. That's a pickup of six. Mark it at the 10. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Now on the option. Quick toss. Open space at the 25. Oh, look out. There he goes. The 30. He's at the 20. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Oregon State. And the big play starts with the quarterback making the right decision, getting the defense to come to him, pitching the football, and Jesse, the running back, catches it and does the rest. He does. He also had good blocking downfield, too. Some of those receivers outside helping him out. But, man, with his speed when he's on the perimeter, the options executed that well it is virtually Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Using his legs, it's Singleton. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Gliding to the right, still trying to make a play. And that one's incomplete. We're taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. 
It is a valuable tool to have a quarterback that can extend a play like that. But sometimes you're smart to be checked down Charlie and just take something easy and not invite disaster. Because when you roll out, you're rolling out, you're cutting the field in half, right? The defense starts to run from one side to where you're rolling out to. Um, the field kind of shrinks and it kind of becomes a little bit of backyard ball. And you can tell he forced that one in there. Didn't get the interception, thank goodness, uh, but it wasn't a great decision. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Dances away from the heat. He's going to fire to the left. Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. You look to be backed up, and then suddenly you're not. Big play has him across the 50, and they'll have it first and 10. Slings it downfield. Got him, and nobody's close. Oh, the quick spin move. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. He wants to throw it again. Keeps looking downfield. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. And now a chance not only to cut into the lead, but play it just right. And maybe the other team doesn't even get a chance to answer. Slams it ahead. Takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality. He punched it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum. Going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. Wide out in motion. A jet sweep pass. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and now they're just down six. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And he's able to kick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, but i got to score it. Every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Got stumped on first down. It's second and ten. Goes to the option. Now the pitch. And they went right back to him, and he went right back down. It's going to be third and ten. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. They got to play in space more, cover fast guys out of the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? They'll run the option. The pitch. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And that's what this option will do to you. They got the pitch man free and he was off to the races. They'll immediately call timeout. And how about that, man? If you're a defense, that's demoralizing. You get them in a, a known passing situation. They slip the run in there. All you got to do now, you're playing deep for pass, but now come up, just make a tackle. Force a fourth down. The defense could not get the back on the ground, Palmer, and he gets the first down. And he makes the catch inside the 25. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. And the Beavers will line it up on first and ten. On the option. Now the toss. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Another good run. Man, he has been cooking up yards in bunches today. Jesse's showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. 
the option look. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On the option. He'll toss it. And that one will go and reverse the defense all over that pitch on the option. We're ready to get it started here in the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. He's got great speed. Got a little room. There he goes. Open it up. He will score. Touchdown, Beaver. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. They'll run it. Worked on the touchdown. Might as well do the same thing on the two-point conversion. He gets all eight points on that trip. They're just about to boot it away full of energy after housing that last kickoff. That might be overdoing it, keeping it away from the return man as the kickoff goes out of bounds. Line gets set, first down. From the gun, running back on the move. Nice move to stay on his feet. At the 35, he's open. He's loose down the left side. Touchdown. And to have a rushing touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear, at his speed, he was gone. Now the two-point conversion attempt is coming. Direct snap. He's into the end zone again. A little icing on the cake for the two-point conversion after the long touchdown run. They couldn't draw up a drive better than that one. Just gashed him for the big play in the run game. One snap, one touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. A rather inauspicious start with the kickoff out of bounds and great field position for this offense. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Makes it past the marker. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Flying down the right side. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Oregon State. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. Trying to run it in. This time, he'll be stopped short of the goal line. So after scoring the touchdown, he tried to tack on the two-point conversion, but was denied. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Opening play of this drive comes from the 11. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Pushes forward for three out to the 13. This is 
so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice job by the defense there, getting a stop on the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage. We know they convert a few times early in this game by the QB run, but they weren't going to let it happen there. He'll try to do it himself. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You know, I think that was nickel right there, and I do like bringing an extra DB. Why? Not only can that guy cover in the slot, but he can also blitz. You can, you can kind of disguise and hide what you're doing because you got more guys. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on down. And down by two scores, and I guess you get to the point where you, you got to say, I'm going to go for it. we got to be aggressive. we got to make this happen. They tried to make it happen, and the defense comes up big. Now, it is not looking good. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. And that last drive, if you want to call it that, was efficient. One big run for a score, David. See if they can do it again. Yeah, and I find it hard-pressed. They're not going to give it right back to you. You break that long. And the ball squirted out. Touchdown, Beaver! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Lining up to add another. With the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That's exactly what you want to do when you have that type of field position. Strike quickly, and they did. One play, and they put it on the board. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Well, that is a very disappointing kickoff return. They've got to do a better job up front blocking these guys running down the field. There was just nowhere for that return man to go. 